What's going on, YouTube? Oh, just getting ready to get my day started. Oh, by the way, Shadow Wolf just put out a, a video, a short video, it's about two minutes long, about how he what he what he thinks about truck driving today. And it's it's funny but accurate. You know. Uh, now I've been out here over 20 years and uh, it definitely trucking ain't like it used to be back in the day. I can tell you that right now. Right. Back when I started driving, there was this thing called the Brotherhood of Trucking. And uh, it was nice. It's, it's still around today, you know. It's still, it barely, but it's still around. Some of us still have that mentality, you know, where we help a fellow trucker out. And uh, I remember times, man, if you broke down on the side of the road, there'd be three or four or five trucks pull over behind you. All of us trying to, you know, trying to help you out, help you fix your truck. Maybe one guy has one tool that you need and another guy has another tool and we all come together and we, you know, if we can get your truck running, we'll get it running, you know, help you out, you know. Back you know, days. nowadays on the CB, it's F you this, F you that, or shut up, stupid. I ain't got no panties on. You know, stupid stuff. That's why some of us old folks, including myself, hardly run with the CB on. Well, I'll run with the CB on. It's just when I get to a truck stop, I turn it off. It's just some crazy stuff out there. But anyway, I'm on a reason why I have it vlogs I've been busy um, I'd start a vlog but then I'll get on a phone call and then dude, I ain't gonna make no excuse however I have been working on my network storage solution shelf I got that finished uh, I am I am going home I'll be home Monday morning early Monday morning um, I did order a LTE antenna uh, for my hotspot because my hotspot has two antenna connections on the side and I'm going to mount the, the cell phone antenna, the real good one, uh, on my Qualcomm bracket up there. And I'll do a video on that. So uh, let me show here, let me show you what uh, I recorded this video a few days ago on my network shelf and everything. I got it epoxied and that's what it looks like. It's not dried, it's dry now. That looks cool. Got a mess I gotta clean up. I put tape around it, but anyway, wires come out the side here. This is gonna be on the bottom. This is gonna be facing downward and it's gonna light up my area over here it's going to be on the bottom it's going to be shining down this is the bottom plate that's the bottom plate Nice blue glow. <coughs> got my router mount mounted. Got this plate put on here. And then I'll mount my uh, hot spot right there. I got to cut a hole through there to, for the cables and stuff. But that's what it looks like lit up.
this is my storage. That's my NASH unit. That's my Airport Extreme router. I got two four terabyte drives up top. Those are not part of the uh, redundancy. Those are just drives. There's my net gear. And then those mounts I was telling you, those are quarter inch bolts. I got one on the bottom and I got two on top. You can see my Logitech mounted to one. So I have different options of mounting different stuff. Uh, I'm thinking about putting one right there. Um, don't know yet. I can mount those lights, the ring lights, they can mount on those quarter inch bolts. So, yeah. That's All right, that's what I'm talking about. See, I got one light mounted to that bolt. I got my other light mounted up there. And then I got the switches zip tied right here. So I can turn them off and on, I can dim them, I can brighten them, I can change the color. There's my new pod mic. So yeah, that's that. And uh Anyway, I gotta go pick up a load in Prince George, Virginia, which is exit three on 295 there, south of you know, Richmond area. And then take it to Shelbyville, Tennessee to Walmart and drop it off anytime between midnight and seven o'clock Monday morning. I'll be there right at midnight, hopefully around there. And then I'm gonna grab it empty and take that empty to Louisville, Kentucky, drop it off, then go home. So I'm gonna go over here to McDonald's to get me something to eat, and then we'll hit the road. What's up, YouTube? Hi, right, I'm here at my my shipper, Purdue Farms, here in Prince George, Virginia. My load's not gonna be ready for a while, so I guess this is gonna be a short vlog. Um, this load is getting me home, like I said before. And I uh, gotta get home. I'm gonna do some. Uh, gotta fix my lights again on the side. It's always at the. Now, those four lights that I installed, and I did a video on it. I, I have a wiring harness that I made. It goes from. They're tied into my two lights that are on my hood, on the side of my hood. The wire harness goes back, then it splits off to go to the two lights on the doors, and then the it harness goes back to the two lights on the back. Where at the split where it goes off to the doors, that's where it always loses connection. So I ordered some more waterproof connections like I ordered before to fix, uh, to connect to all the lights. Um, and I ordered some more, so I'm going to fix that and I'm going to do it right this time. And hopefully that takes care of the issue. Um, so I'm going to do that when I'm home. Going to be um, installing my antenna. I'm going to take the two little antennas I got up for my cellar uh, off the, the roof of my truck. They're crap. They're junk. They were cheap. They didn't work. I mean, they work, but they didn't work all that good. I'm gonna take them off and then I'm gonna install that good antenna on my on the uh, I'm on I got a bracket that I gotta make out of starboard I ordered some brackets I gotta I gotta measure because I don't want to go higher than 13 6 because that's all I need to freaking hit a bridge and it knocks off my antenna I'm gonna make it about 13 4 um, so it's just sticking up above my truck just a little bit because my, my my, this particular, the 587 is actually lower than a 13.6. If you look at the uh, top of the truck compared to the trailer, it's lower than the trailer. So I'm going to have the antenna stick up just enough so it can, that signal can come in. And But, um, yeah. So it's pretty much, I'm sitting, up, sitting here just waiting. You know how it is at these damn chicken houses or whatever this is. I'm not sure. It's Purdue Farm, so it's got to be chicken. So, probably not going to leave here tonight. Probably going to go to bed early tonight and leave out about, I don't know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And 
and uh, whatnot. So, anyway, this is a short vlog. Hope you liked it. Um, just to give you a little information what I've been doing. Sorry I haven't been vlogging. I've been working on spending time with the wife, playing WoW, uh, building my shelf, and some, you know, a few other things. So, but anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Comment down below what you think. Subscribe, all that stuff. You know you want to. Go ahead and do it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.